Hello everyone, I'm Sandy and welcome to my scrapyard. So today I wanted to attempt to make a cover uh, using this um, cover I've made. Um, not sure if it's going to work, but I'm going to try and record it and see how it goes. So I'm going to start first by um, using my Mod Podge. Mod Podge? That's not what I want. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't want that yet. I wanted my gesso. Oh my gosh, talk about being organized. Sorry about that, everyone. I meant to use gesso to start with. And I'm going to grab my brush. And you'll have to excuse me. I haven't done a video for a very long time. And, uh,. Yeah, anyway, whoopsie. Let's start with that. I have no idea if this is going to work. I'm just trying this for the first time. It's probably going to end up warping my board, I'm sure. But I'll try it anyway. All right, so we're just going to put some gesso down here. And... Uh, Hopefully it gives us a bit of uh, tooth, as they say. I have a big glob in there. That's not a good thing. That is not a good thing. I've moved my garbage can and I'm so used to it being on my left and now it's on my right. And I'm not liking it very much, so I'm going to have to switch that back. So I was at my sister's a few months back, and uh, her girlfriend, we had an art class. And we did this um, on a canvas. But I thought I was going to try and do it on my journal cover and see how it works out. Anyway, this chipboard I've had for a very long time, so if it doesn't work out, I'm not really missing out on anything. Um, I should probably open that up and get in there. Whoopsie. All right, so we've got that. I don't want this blobbies on the edge. Okay. Put that in my water. We're going to give this a little bit of a dry. I believe this is just a type of mixed media and lots of people I've noticed have been doing it, but I've never done it this way before, so I'm going to give it a try. So we'll just dry that off as quick as we can. I should just use my hair dryer. I guess, really, I should have been working on some scratch paper. I just want to grab these blobs off the end before they dry on. Let's see, there's a couple there. And I really don't have, um, I guess, a design in mind for what I'm going to draw on here, but maybe I'll just do some flowers or something. We'll see. It's 
sorry, this is taking longer than I thought it would. A little longer than I thought it would. I'm going to do this in real time, so I'm not very good at editing my videos. All right. Um, that should work. That should work. Good enough for now. Yeah, let me just set that aside and give this a little bit of a wipe. I'll definitely be putting some paper down because I don't want to have to do, stop and do this every single time. Bum shoulder. Oh, I gotta move that garbage can because that's driving me crazy. <laughs> you know, you try to organize your space to make things better and you end up making them worse. All right, that is good enough for me. Good enough for me. I really should have had all my stuff prepared here, but I didn't. So, okay. Let's see. Now we're going to Mod Podge. We're going to take some papers and some book pages and some scrapbook paper. And I'm just going to grab my tree of scraps that I have. Yeah. That might work. And that won't work. I don't know why I have scrapbook paper in every single bin. That was not my intention. <laughs> You're supposed to be sorting this stuff. All right, let's see what we've got here. So we're just going to take some nice bits and pieces of bright... Uh, oh... That's for my grandson. I don't want to cut that one up. <laughs> I don't know why I put it in here. All right. Let's see. Something bright. I don't really have anything bright. I have all this Tim Holtz paper that's so dull. Vintage, I should say. I guess it's not overly dull, but you know what I mean. Oh, there. That's pretty. And I don't really have a theme in mind as far as um, uh, paint colors. Oh, I don't know. Let's use that one then. Maybe that green one. Use some of that. I'll throw the paisley in there too. Blue. Gonna grab some green and some book page. I might have to use that, but maybe not on this project because I'm gonna plan something for that one. I have tons of other paper somewhere, but I'm not exactly sure where it is. So let's use this was a project that I made using this paper which I absolutely loved it was a couple of boxes that I made. All right, now we need another paintbrush and I'm just gonna use this cheapy one for Mod Podge. Oh, and I wanted to get some book pages. Uh, I think that is a Tom's, oh, Tarzan book. So those words should be safe enough to use. <laughs> You don't want to be messing it all up. Okay, now you're probably wondering what the heck is she doing? So we're just going to take some pieces and I'll grab my tear ruler here. 
But you know what? I don't think it really matters if you have a tear ruler or not. Because I'm sure any any papers will work. Oh, this is going to be colorful. I like this. So let's use a couple pieces of that. And it doesn't matter if the edges are inked or not. I would prefer not to because then that's just going to smear. Oh my gosh, I forgot my dog outside. I'm probably going to have to move and go get her. Okay. I may have to... Uh, stop this video and hopefully learn how to join them together. I really like this paper, so I'm going to use another piece. Let's take that right out of the jar. I'm going to put that there. I love this design on this paper. Oh, let's use a piece of this pretty little, um, what is that, like a raspberry and gold color? I believe if you have a design in mind, you can place the papers to coincide with that design, but if you're like me and you didn't have a plan. That doesn't look like it's sticking. That might be too thick of paper. Yeah, that might be a little thick. So right now I'm just gonna take that off because that's just gonna stick up and bug me. Okay, let's try another piece. Let's try, let's try this one. Oh man, that does not go in that at all. But that's okay. It's a process. I suppose it would have been helpful if I would have showed you the picture first of what I was thinking of doing. Sounds like my neighbor's outside mowing his lawn. He comes about once a month and mows the empty lot next door to me. They had a house there, and they were wonderful people, wonderful neighbors. And um, their house, we had a sewer back up in 2013, and their house was pretty much uh, condemned in their basement. So he was going to build again and decided to just buy instead because I don't think he... Um, had any idea how much it costs to um, build a house. <laughs> he got insurance money, but I don't believe it was enough. Anyway, so now I have an empty lot next door to me, which I don't mind because, you know, it's quiet. And um, it comes just to clean up the lawn every once in a while. All right, let's just stick that on there. I don't know what this is gonna look like. I'm probably just gonna wreck this, but that's okay too. All right, what else do I got here? I've got this piece with some words and gold on it.
and let's just do that. I don't know if I should maybe be leaving some um, white page down, white page bare. I would love some nice pink. I need to find some pink. Oh, I know. Let's just let's just use some more of this. I like that so much. I don't know if I'm going to do the spine. Oh, I better go run and let my dog in because she's going to start causing a scene. <laughs> Alright, I'm so sorry. I'll be right back. lovely piece of paper that I was going to use before. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. It's an old calendar. Let's use some of that just for the color. And maybe some of this blue. corner. So it's a Sunday afternoon and I'm just home doing nothing bored. I have to go get groceries but I didn't feel like going out yet so oops oops here I sit waiting and I thought what else can I do? Make a video. I haven't done one of them forever. Now this is a process that takes a very long time, so this will probably be in a couple of sets. A couple of sets, a couple of, oh what's the word? A couple of, <laughs> can't think of the word right now. Oh my gosh. A couple of parts, a couple of parts, there we go. <laughs> Part one, part two, part who knows three. Because I think we're only allowed to record for 30 minutes. And I believe I'm already at 18 and I can't believe that took so long to do all that. All right, um, yeah, that's okay. What about we take some of this paisley? Oh, that's pretty. I want to take some of that and move it down the side. And let's just put that there. And I'll dry this. I like about Mod Podge is it doesn't take long to dry. But the thicker you do it, I think the, the longer it will take. All right, moving on. stuck on my finger. There we go. Okay. 
it seems today like everybody is doing collage 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 and it's nice and all but I don't know I'm looking for something new nobody has anything new I actually started watching uh, Ecaustic um, I know that's not new but it would be definitely new for me but then that means going out and buying a whole bunch of more different supplies and Man, I've been saving up scrapbook paper and doing scrapbooking and journaling for oh, quite a while now. And it's taken me forever. Um, not forever, but a lot of money to, to buy what I already have. So I think I will just continue doing what I'm doing. The idea of trying something else is nice. I love doing different crafts and... Um, I've also been watching macrame. I used to do macrame when I was, uh, oh, I don't know, 13 or a very long time ago. And I love doing macrame, but I'm not sure now, as an older person, <laughs> I have the dexterity in my fingers. I assume I do, but, you know. Okay, let's get some more of that flower in there. Mmm, where did I put it? There it is. And I'm just going to trim away these little perforated holes here from the calendar. Take a couple pieces of that. It's like it needs something there, something brighter than what I have. Well, I'm really uh, surprised that my um, uh, chipboard is holding up and it doesn't seem to be bending yet, which is a good thing. Yeah, let's do that over there. I think we're at 23 minutes, so I might have to stop this pretty soon. Okay, now I want, uh, what do I want? I want uh, some of this again. When we did this art piece, I wished I would have, um, I wrote this instruction somewhat, but I wish I would have recorded what we were doing, because I'm more of a visual, um, a visual person. I'm going to put some yellow, oh, there's a nice piece of yellow there. Yeah. Put a piece of yellow in there. None of this, none of this <laughs> goes together. Now I want the, um, uh, let's take that green. I don't have any green in there. And do some green there. Nice kind of brown behind it, but. I need to get a program that will let me, I use my iPhone for recording, but apparently you can't pause and then continue. So I need to download a program 
that will let you do that. Well, guys, I think that I'm kind of done. I'll put that in the water. And my plastic. I'm going to just put that back over. I've had this Mod Podge for, oh, geez, must be a year now. And it's still full. I got a really good deal on it at Michael's. But it, I hate to see them dry out. So I put a piece of plastic on it, and it seems to hold up pretty well. Oh, look at that pretty paper. I should have used some of that. Oh, well, that's okay. That can go in the garbage. All right. Now let's get it dried a little bit. I didn't use the paper, so I pulled out all of them, but that's okay too. Okay, um, I think I'm going to use my hair dryer. I have a little mini hair dryer that I use for crafting, and that might work better. Sorry for the loud noise. Like I'm leaving the spine there, but that's okay. Maybe I'll put something over it. You see, there's a bit of glare up there, but sorry about that. I love how the um, the mod pods work makes everything just kind of pop the color all right guys i think what i'm going to do because we're already at 27 minutes is i'm going to uh continue to let this dry and then i'll start the next video and with any luck i'll be able to um do a part two so part one we just gessoed our book cover and we've Mod Podged on our pieces and Mod Podged over top and um, dried it. So that's it for now. I'll see you in a bit. Thank you. Bye.